to Ross Edwards. And that's out. It's a great catch by Alan Knott. So John Snow done it again. And Ross Edwards gone for a fine low diving catch by Alan Knott. Oh, and that's a fine ball, and it's out, caught behind. So the fifth ball of the first over after lunch. And that's stack pole, caught by Alan Knott of the bowling of Derek Underwood. Fine ball, turned, there's help in this wicket for the spinners already on the first morning. Ah! That's a quicker one, he's out, LBW. The one pushed through with the arm and really caught Greg Chappell unawares there. Beat him by a well controlled, perfectly concealed, quicker ball. So the third wicket going down, Underwood second, a quicker one pushed through. And you see, after the ball that struck him on the pad, Greg Chappell pushing his leg forward. And that could be out, Illingworth coming around under it should be out quite safe marsh caught illingworth bold underwood trying to hit the left-hander down the ground you can see again now how this sixth wicket fell marsh coming down the pitch hitting it away over mid on but getting i think an outside edge the ball spiraling away out to mid on round about level with the umpire illingworth judged it nicely but had to catch it away from the body in the end pulled it in close He's caught him. A great catch by Illingworth. That ball lifted and spun sharply. Outside edge. Flew to Illingworth who knocked it up. Dived away behind him. What a fine catch by the England captain. Australia 98 for 7 now. And look at this. The ball lands. Spins. Hits up the top of the bat. Illingworth going for it a second time. And a fine effort there. And he's given him out LBW. Constant had a long look at that. He doesn't make decisions lightly, this umpire. Let's see this LBW decision. Mullet moving well across, well in front there. And Constant taking a long time over his decision. Four wickets fell to the England pace bowlers, Jeff Arnold and John Snow, but the bulk of the work was done by Raymond Illingworth, two for 32 in 21 overs and 11 maidens, and Derek Underwood brought in for this match 31 overs 16 maidens and 4 for 37 that's out caught behind Parfit looking in some dismay at umpire constant ball swung back it looked to come between bat and pad And he's given him out stump to find piece of work. Constant once again waited a long time. Alan not gave him the charge and Marsh had those bells off in no time at all. So Alan not stumped in a test match without scoring. Something quite unique these days. See him coming down the wicket. And looking for the cut. Marsh very quick indeed to have him off. And he's out stump, too short of his 50. Trying to push it away for the two runs he wanted. It wasn't a very good ball. He could really have belted it away on the onside. He hit six fours, and this is what happened when he faced Inverarity on 48. Full pitch. And a brilliant piece of stump in there by Rodney Marsh. A great with 148. His last opportunity today is to reach the... 50 mark, which will be one of the slowest in the history of Test match cricket between Australia. He's gone for the big one. That surely is it. Yes, it's bigger than that. I think it's over the ropes. Umpire Elliot having a look. Signal in six. So the last over of the day, right? Illingworth going to his 50 with his second six. In fact, they lasted only until the total was 263 when Ray Illingworth, the England captain, was OBW to Lily, shuffling across the crease. 
and given out by umpire Constant at the bowler's end. No praise is too high for Illingworth in the part he played in rescuing England from a desperate situation uh, when he came to the crease. Yes, Raymond Illingworth played a magnificent innings there for England, a match-winning one, in uh, my opinion. Ashley Mullet, the off-spinner, 52 overs, 20 maidens, 5 for 114. And Dennis Lilly, because of his great skill, was able to pick up 2 for 39 in 26.1 overs. And here now is Derek Underwood preparing to rip through the Australian batting. He's bowling to Greg Chappell. Out, outside edge, Dolivera. Greg Chappell, that spun back a long, long way. It hits, spins back sharply, outside edge, and it spirals away over Underwood's head. Dolivera comes around, positions himself nicely, no problems at all in the catch, and it's the third Australian wicket to go down. Greg Chappell caught by Dolivera. Bold Underwood for 13. Stackpole is out week before wicket to Underwood. The fourth wicket to Paul. 51 for four now, Australia. Look at that. Walters has gone. That one turn and lift in a fine catch by Parfit. Really gave Doug Walters little chance at all. Pitched absolutely perfectly. Turn, flipped off his glove. This is it. Wicket of Walters. Parfit making no mistake there at slip. Ball coming a little bit slowly to him, but a deflection off Alan Knott. So it's Marsh now facing Derek Underwood. Yeah! Asking for a catch, and he's given it out, caught behind, and a little tickle. So a third catch there to Alan Knott in the innings. Rodney Marsh out, another wicket to Derek Underwood. He's really having a birthday here this afternoon. <laughs> he's asking and he's given him out, a little tickle under the pad. Underwood on the hat-trick, two in two, and Verarity out for Nort first ball. Pushing forward a little inside edge. Three short legs, a slip, a gully and a silly point, facing Ashley Mallet, Derek Underwood on the hat-trick. <laughs> no inside out, sir, on the pad, but applause there from his Kent colleague, applause from Tony Gregg. Wonderful over by Derek Underwood. Congratulations from everybody around. Bowl him. Spun from middle, hit off. And Lilly is the ninth wicket to go down. Australia still six, six runs short of making England bat again. And Lilly bowled by Underwood for seven. Once again, the spinners, the men who did most work and had most success. A great effort from Derek Underwood, who was as close to unplayable as you will ever see at test match level. 21 over six maidens and six for 45, and Ray Illingworth gave him great support and bowled without luck. England needing just a handful of runs. Here is Lily bowling to John Edridge. And that's out, it looked very close indeed, so our very jubilant, happy Dennis Lilly has struck at least one blowback for Australia. Edridge out LBW with a total on seven, his personal score on four. Luckhurst and Parfitt hit off the required runs there, England 21 for 1 at the end of their innings and uh, a very good victory. The victory coming in uh, three days and probably the spectators were lucky to get that much cricket. The spinners had a field day or field days as the case may be. Underwood 10 for 82 from 52 